Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to use my Copic markers to make a faux watercolor effects card. Hope you enjoy! So I started this card by stamping the main image onto a piece of post-it note tape. This is the Tree Stem Stamp by Lavinia Stamps and I stamped it with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This probably wasn't the best ink to use because it did stay wet for a little while, but I ended up using it anyway. After stamping it, I cut out the stamp just roughly and then set it aside. Then using a piece of paper that's five by seven inches, I stamped this image again and then added the mask on top. And I wanted the front of the card to look like there was a whole bunch of trees at the bottom so I masked off the first image and then stamped it again and repeated this so that I had a whole bunch of trees over the bottom of the card. Now because this tree stem is basically a long rectangle, I did use some of the spare pieces of post-it note tape to mask off some of the areas as well so that I didn't need to worry about making more than one mask. Now the reason I use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink is because I plan to do some alcohol ink coloring and this is the ink that I prefer for that. Next time I use a post-it note tape for a mask, however, I think I will use a different ink to stamp as this, as I mentioned, this ink does take a while to dry on post-it note tape. So once I finished with the bottom of my card, I wanted to add some of the trees standing up in the background as well. So I just used the same mask and some of that extra post-it note tape to mask off the right hand side of the card there so that I could add my vertical trees into the background. So to make it a bit more interesting, I did one tree going off the side of the card and off the top of the card so that you only see part of it. And then the second tree, I moved my mask so that I could stamp this a little bit lower so that you can see the top area of the stamp, which looks like it has been gnawed at by some beavers. <laughs> Now I didn't push hard enough to get a perfect impression there, so I managed to line up my stamp and re-stamp it so that I have a perfect impression of that second tree. And then I removed all the masks. Then I removed the mask and allowed the ink to dry completely before coloring it in. So I did some very basic coloring on the trees. I just used E33 as my base color and then I went in with E37 and added some highlights just where I thought there might be a bit of shadow and I didn't worry too much about blending these together. Then once I was happy with that I added some water to the scene. I used B05 and just drew in a water line and then colored this several times so I had a nice dark blue water. Then using some B's, this is B02, I added a bit of sky and then some BG000 above this. And I know that some of my Copics are running out a little bit but I still like to use them until they're completely dead so I didn't worry too much about some of the streakiness. In fact, I thought it worked well in this, making it look more like a watercolor background. So then I added some B00 above this, which is a nice pale blue, and then some BG11 and BV01. This one, as you can tell, was quite dry, so I needed to add the second blue-violet in there. 
And I just love the the way that the sky changes color. And I was trying to emulate a nice, colorful, pastel-y sky. And then at the very top of the card, I added some more blues. So I went in with my darker blues. This is the B02. And then I went back and forth between the same colors, adding more horizontal lines. And um, the way to achieve this look is to make sure all your strokes are going horizontally rather than in different directions. And then to add a bit of interest to the top, I added some clouds using R20 and R00. And then once I had finished, I set this aside to dry completely. And I should mention that I used alcohol ink friendly paper, which makes all the difference when you're using Copic markers. Now, once I was happy with this, I wanted to add a bit more interest. So I masked off the left hand side and added on one of the stamps from the Silhouette Foilage stamp set from Lavinia Stamps. And I just used some Wilted Violet Distress Ink because this was handy, but you could use any ink for this. And I wanted them to be on the left and the right hand side of the water, so I added some behind here as well. Now I didn't worry too much about them going on top of the trees because this is Distress Ink. It is a little bit transparent. But I did wipe off some of that ink just in case. Once I was happy with that, I used some Versafine Claire ink. This is Nocturne. And I stamped the beaver called Heidi on the left side of my card. And I just stamped her right over those trees so that it looks like she's sitting on the trees, resting and talking to Howard, whom I'll stamp in a moment. And the benefit of using Copic markers is that you don't see them through the VersaFine image. As you can see here, it looks like she's really on top. And then I stamped Howard on the right hand side so that he's sitting on the other trees and facing Heidi. A perfect pair of beavers. I just love how this looks on those trees. Now, once I'd finished stamping Heidi and Howard, I wanted to add a sentiment to the front of the card. So I used the Lavinia stamp that says art from the heart, and I stamped this on the top of the card. And then to make Heidi and Howard stand out a little bit more, I used a white jelly roll pen and I went around these images. And I think this really helped to make it pop and just added that extra finishing touch to this card. To add a bit of sparkle, I used a golden Stardust Jelly Roll pen and added some veins onto those plants. And that really sparkles in real life. And I also added some little bits of sparkle just some dots around those plants and that helped to add some interest there as well. Now to make the water come alive on the bottom of the card, I used that white jelly roll pen again and just drew horizontal lines which I smudged with my finger. And this really helped to bring that blue B02 Copic color to life and then I added a plain white line on the top of the water as well. I trimmed this card so it was just shy of 5 by 7 inches and then I adhered it to a 5 by 7 inch card base so there's a little bit of white around the image. And then on the inside of the card I used that same silhouette foliage stamp only a darker color of Distress Ink. This is the Villainous Potion color and I stamped it a few times just to add some interest on the inside. And I wanted to keep this card quite neutral so that I could use it for several occasions. So the sentiment that I decided to add was the Just For You sentiment by Lavinia Stamps. 
and I stamp the sentiment with that Nocturne Versafine Claire ink. And now you can see the finished card with the beavers on the outside and the sentiment on the inside. I just love that watercolor effect. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video inspiring. If you haven't already, please subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day!